everybody, I'm David McDarby, and I'm here to open up all five Comms with Tarkir pre-release packs. If you haven't heard of me, I'm the star of Commander vs, a video series on StarCityGames.com, where I play Commander on video with awesome decks against awesome friends, and it's a whole lot of fun, and you should check it out. I also write about Standard, Legacy, Commander, and any other format that you've really ever heard of. But you didn't come here to look at me, did you? As flattering as that may be. You came here to check out the sweet new Cons with Tarkir cards that are coming out tomorrow during the pre-release. So let's check some out. First, we will start with the White Clan, the Obzon Houses. Obzon, not Abzan, kind of like Obzadot, or if you go to Hogwarts, that's how you would pronounce it. But let's see what's in this Black, White, Green Clan. So here is the Obzon Houses pre-release pack. Uh, it is the White Clan, and they all have a, a base color, and we're going to see exactly what's in these pre-release packs. So it's midnight, you're showing up with your friends, I can't open it. And you're going to try to see what sweet cards are in here to play in a pre-release and win all those awesome prizes so you can go forth in honor and glory. The Obzon Houses, they do understand the world is a brutal place. you got to play these other colors which aren't as good as black, white, and green. <laughs> anyway, here's my sticker. It is uh, what I will be putting on my forehead if I was a member of the Obzon Houses, but I probably won't do that right now. And here's our checklist card. So these are things that you can do at a pre-release and cast a white, black, green spell, survive until turn 12, make sure you count out what, how turns you get to, how long you're playing, cast a spell depicting wagons or sand, and raise your clan's banner. I'll be doing that. So, all right, so here we have the seated pack. We, even, we immediately see we have Anna Fins of the Foremost. She is the con of this clan, and uh, she's pretty sweet. She's kind of like a Loxodon Smiter. Um, I'm not going to care about this stuff, and I'm going to see exactly what's all here in this seated pack. So our pre-release card is Ana Finza. That is really sweet. We've got her, a banner, incremental growth for uh, Lauren Block Limited fans. It's back. Make sure you have three targets, kids. Battle Priest, Than Thep Thidolo. Uh, it's the, the wedge land to go, you know, crumbling, san crumbling sanctuary, crumbling Acropolis and all that jazz. Uh, morph Guy, debilitating injury. Uh, it's kind of weakness for another mana. The thing is, it kills morph creatures. Very important in this limited format. Uh, an Atlas guy, which is, the Atlas is the Obzon mechanic in that your creatures will eventually get stronger and stronger. If you ever played M13 Limited, I believe, there was a call called Chronomaton. He was a 1-1 one, one for 1 that had Atlas, but all your creatures have it. And they're creatures 2-1s for, for, for 2 that eventually get first strike. That's not bad. So this mechanic is extremely good and limited, and I expect a lot of uh, games to be decided by the Atlas ability. Here we have Obzon Guide. Uh, it's the common, there's a common cycle of creatures in every color that's the three colors. And this one is a 4 4 lifelink uh, for six or for three, then five if you morph. That ain't bad. 4 4 is for lifelink. Sign me up. Some other morph and outlast creatures Jungle Hollow, uh, the Golgari uh, Refuge uh, from Zinnikar. Uh, the refuges were a cycle of tap lands that gained you life. They brought them all back for all 10 colors. Beautiful. And some other creatures. Smite the Monstrous. Remember that card from Limited Days of Past? But anyway, we've got this girl, Ana Finza. She is sweet. When she attacks, you put a counter on another tap creature you're, you control, like if you're attacking. Or if you've outlasted, you can put a creature, another counter on that guy. And it exiles creatures put into other graveyards. So in case you go against those sneaky, sultai, brood guys, you can kind of neuter their delve creatures and spells. So here, meanwhile, not one I've got my attention off of Ana Finza. Let's put her right here. Uh, I've got a die. Um, the 20 is the the Konzo Tarkir expansion symbol. Um, you roll that and then fireball people for a 12. I've got a pin, which is new. I didn't know they had these. Um, but pins are awesome. If you like pins, you should come to our Grand Prix in Orlando where we've got pins out the wazoo. So anyway, I've got five packs left. And I'm going to start opening packs because who doesn't love opening packs? So we've got Scald Kit. No, let's just go to the very Who am I kidding? Hardened Scares. Scales. Um, you know, it doubles your outlast, guys. Um, it's good with things with counters. So, um, yeah, we're probably not playing that. Um, right down. Um, well, we're white, black, green. Um, in this format, often your, your clan's house may be a, a, th a fourth color. You can splash to be another clan, like uh, the Mardu Horde or something. Um, so I could splash red to be the Mardu Horde and ride down. Seek the Horizon. Um, it's a draw four, draw three, but they're all basic lands, but you get to choose. Blinding Spray, a Fog that Clone, a Fog that Cantrips for blue. Uh, the old Ponyback, Saddle Up, uh, little buggy, buddy. I wasn't a cowboy. I don't know how you say that. 
It's like a CG in Commander, but um, you can't suit the goblins. More creatures cancel. Think about this cancel. I th I'm pretty sure it's the best art of any cancel ever made. So let's just use cancel in all our uh, blue control decks, shall we? <laughs> let's all talk about uh, dissolve. And here we have a couple other guys: Bloodfire Expert and a Freet and a Skullkin. I like Skullkin, but uh, we're probably not blue in this deck. So there's that, and we get a zombie. Um, so we've got hardened scales, but we can go ahead and get that thing out of here. We're not playing that card. All right, pack number two. Let's get. Uh, what do you guys want? Let's try. Um, uh, green white. Let's try Windswept Heath. Rakshasha Vigier. 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 Um, this guy is a 404 for 5 that uh, when a card is put into exile from my graveyard, I put counters on that guy. Uh, so he works. The thing with this guy, he works with Delve. He's a Salt Tide Brood member. He works with Delve. Um, we might get some Black Delve spells in this deck. Maybe Necropolis Fiend or Murderer's Cut. Those guys are pretty good. But he's a 404 for 5 that might get bigger. We're, we're, we're probably not going to splash this guy because we splashed blue, but if we've got enough blue cards, we just might play this guy. Interesting note, uh, last night I was playing a game of Arabian Nights, a storytelling game, and on the very first turn, I killed an opposing Vizier that was going to kill me, and I became Vizier. And then I became the... I almost was Sultan, but alas, it was not to be. Um, Air of the Wilds, this guy 2-2 two, two for Death Touch, Ferocious, um, Ferocious, Ferocity, or Ferocious, um, if you have a creature with the power of 4 greater, he gets a little boat, a little uh, boof, buffness, a buff, not a boost. This guy, he'd become a 3-3. Three, three. Well, as it turns out, Archon is a 4-4. Four, four. Look at that. He'll get bigger. So Ferocity, not a bad thing. A Sandstep Citadel, well, that works with our clan. Awesome. We'll definitely be playing that card. A 4-4-4-3 four, 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 that dies, we probably don't want that. Throttle, um, if he played Theros Limited, Lash of the Whip was the same card. This guy, you're probably going to play it. Blossoming Sands, we're playing that. Mana Fixing is the premium. Mardu Banner, uh, the um, Clue Stone of the clans are back in this if you played Re uh, Return to Ravnica Limited. Um, we'll probably probably be playing that, um, see if we can splash any sweet red cards. A Double Raised Dead, uh, bah, bah, bah. Barrage of Boulders, uh, if everyone is you know, on the token plan that uh, the Mardu Horde loves to do. Play this guy, Frosty, Creatures Can't Block, ain't bad. Tygam Scheming, it's almost like an index, but um, you can mill the cards you don't want. Erase for a course of crew fix in standard, and a Mardu War Shrieker. This guy, uh, this guy ain't bad. He's a 3 3 for 4. And if you attack, which it's limited, you're going to attack, uh, raid, you get black, red, white. You know what black, red, white cast? Morph creatures, which every deck's gonna have. So that was that's a pretty good tempo play of playing this guy, make a 3 3, get a 2 2 morph, unmorph him next turn, and you're good to go. So this pack uh, wasn't that bad. We got some mana fixing, removal spell, a guy that we might splash. So that's not bad. I'm happy. But I'm not happy until we open up the money cards. And I'm opening up the money cards in this pack. Well, when I said this pack, I meant the other packs. But anyway, we've got a, we've got a foil, um, a 2-1 for 2. I'll, you know, whatever. So here we have Sage of the Inward Eye, a member of the Jeskai Way. A flying 3-4 when you cast a non-creature spell, or prowess, Creatures you control gain lifelink. Prowess is interesting in that it's the Kiln Fiend, Weed Dragonauts ability, the buffs, the toughness, and the power of your creatures, and it triggers when you cast any spell. But there are also lots of abilities that trigger other things besides plus one, plus one. In this case, lifelink. Maybe another one is flying, or lifelink, or another card with lifelink. Who knows? But a 3-4 flyer for five that often has lifelink is pretty good and limited. That's what you want to be doing. Unfortunately, we're probably black, white, black, white, green, this guy is blue and red, as all good cards are, so we're probably not playing them. Murder's Cut, this is the spell you want. This is a 5 mana, unconditional kill any creature. This card will see play in every limited deck you open it up that you can splash in, which you want to splash it. It will see play in Constructed, you can delve in, in Standard, delve 3 card. If you delve, delve is an interesting mechanic that doesn't work all in, like doesn't work well together. It's kind of line linear, and you don't want a deck full of delve cards, they don't work, they don't synergize well together. But if you have two or three, and if you can delve, by the way, delving is exiling cards from your graveyard, so it works for lots of instant of sorceries. Um, if you can delve away 40% of the spell's mana cost, you're getting a good deal. Um, but if you can get more than that, it's awesome. If you delve away five cards, it's one or four cards, it's a black destroy target creature. What more in magic do you want than black destroy a creature? Not a non-black creature, not a single color creature, but a target creature. Play this card, open this card, you will win. That's expert advice. Suspension Field. Uh, this guy is also pretty good. It's removal, but it's kind of shaky because it's an enchantment. It might get blown up, but there actually aren't a whole lot of ways to blow 
suspension field up, except for this card in my hand. But it exiles creative toughness three or greater, so most big creatures, the ones you want to kill, as I thought so, burn away. Um, red has surely been lacking in the exile an opponent's graveyard uh, mechanic in, in that wheelhouse. Burn away does just what you want to do. It's six damage to a creature, and when it dies, which let's face it, it's gonna die, you exile the graveyard. So you can stop them from delving, or you can get rid of whatever you want. Unfortunately, you don't want to be playing it if they have a Rakshasha Vigier in play, because then you'd make it huge. So let's not do that, shall we? Burn away ain't bad, um, but it's red. We'll see if we can splash it. Solitide Banner, might play that. 4-3 for 4, four, sure. Mystic of the Hidden Way. So this guy is a 3-2 for 5. Generally, that's bad. In a format full of Grey Ogres, 2-2 two is for 3, because more creatures are all Grey Ogres on their one side, on their back side. Um, there's be lots of 2-2s two running around, so X-2s probably aren't going to do a lot. You'll trade down, you'll use up more mana than they use for the creature, and you're generally be an unhappy poo-poo face. But this guy is unblockable. Oh, I mean, can't be blocked. Unblockable is too confusing. Let's just say it can't be blocked. So he's, he's, he's alright. You play him on turn 3, more from turn 4, and you start going to town with your uh, key, key, key latch fairy, key, key, guard, key guy from Gatecrash. I don't know his name. Bloodfell Chaos, we can splash uh, that burn away. War Behemoth, that's a lot of mana. A free Weapon Master. This guy, I'll go ahead and mention this guy here. If a cre if an opponent has a morph creature, and they have uh, six, five mana open, three which are blue, red, white, watch out for this guy. He will kill you. He's a 4 3 first strike. He'll kill mostly anything like our poor Khan, and he'll give another guy a buff. That's bad. Watch out for that guy. Um, Sagu Archer, he, brick he stops any creature pretty much ever. 2 5 reach. He's huge. Any race, like before. So we can kill all those suppression fields that are popping up in our way. Anafenza, you great. Rarely at the rest on the Amber Throne, Anafenza always leads the Abzan houses to battle. And what shall we be leading to battle with? Master of Pearls. All right, we'll play playing this guy. He's a 2-2 two, two for 2, whatever. He's a morph for 3. All right, whatever. But the real power is when he's morphed, turned faced up, courage you control get plus 2, plus 2. So it's kind of like an overrun for white. Five mana, you get a big buff. Now this guy, you might think, only oh, plus two, plus two. Well, yeah, but in Magic the Gathering nowadays, green pumps and trick spells all have the wheelhouse of plus three and up. They get three power and more. White gets a little more. Green is huge, scary, monstrous beats. White is like smaller soldiers and warriors and, you know, monks, and they kind of not as, dang and not as hugely, you know, ferocious, to borrow a keyword from this set. So that's why it's only plus two, plus two. But still, a buff for all your guys. You'll trade up a couple times in combat, and you'll uh, get some work done. So I'm probably going to be throwing some pearls in my opponent's eyes with this guy. Keep him out. Solitai Soothsayer, a five mana, two five that you draw a card, but you get to pick the top of the best four. You, you get to impulse, and then you mill the rest of the three. Almost like their mechanic has to do with exiling cards from a graveyard. Weird. Take up arms. I'm not all that excited about this card. Three one ones for five. It's just going to be a fog. For five mana, we're already at the point where one ones can't really do much. Master of the way, five mana, and the best two colors of magic. You draw a card and you shoot something into the cards in your hand. Five mana, card advantage, you can trip, you kill something. If we can splash red, I'm gonna play this card no matter what, let's be real. I don't care if I'm black, white, green, which I'm going to be. I'm still playing this blue red card. It's five colors, you've got a million dual lands. It's comms of Tarkir, play as many colors as you want. The world is your oyster. Um, three, three for four, for a strike, probably is a guy. Abzan God, this is what I'm talking about. A morph creature that can morph into, like I said before, we've got two of these guys now. So we're probably playing these guys, it's a nice curve. Uh, six, five for six, sure. A, a, a Alpha Tyranix. Um, Swift, Swift Water Cliffs, I like this card because not only does it go into my Mela Commander deck, but also into my Scion of the Ur Dragon All S deck. Starts with this, it's getting in there. Saku Archer, weakness for two mana, blah blah blah, Smite the Montress. We're probably playing this card. It's four mana, kill a big guy. That's good. We Fate, Inspiration. That, that, I'll, take, I'll take that pack. We've got one more. All right, what are you guys thinking about? Um, what card do you want? How about Ana Fins of the Foremost? You want to call shot for that girl so we have two of her? And... All right. So it's not Ana Fins of the Foremost, but. I have now successfully confirmed that we confirmed that we are indeed splashing red with the blood fire cliffs black red dual and the the banners because this guy 
as a house. Don't let the word hoard. He's definitely coming to the Abzan houses, because that's exactly what he is, a house. A 5-4 five, for 5 that's flying, so you're already, you're happy, a 5-4 flying for 4, excuse me. It, it's three colors, who cares? It's it's Hans of here. But anyway, if you sacrifice another creature, he gets either Vigilance, which is the less, most, most less used mode, Lifelink, which is very common, or Haste. If you give a 5-4 flying Lifelink, otherwise known as a Baneslayer Angel, you'll be winning. Let's just get this straight. People cannot race that. You can give it haste. Haste, a haste lift lifelink, 5 for a flyer, is going to win you the game. You're playing this card. I don't even want to play on a fins anymore. I just want to be a Mardu Horde and play Butcher of the Horde because that guy is all that and a bag of chips. That is awesome. Also, pick these guys up now. He may just be just a rare, but I was playing against BBD in some matches of New Standard, and anytime he cast that, I would immediately die unless I had stoked the flames. I didn't very much have Stoke the Flames. Let's see what all this is a pack, even though I won't be able to compare it to our Butcher. Raider Spoilers, um, Raider Spoilers, Warriors get, uh, Warriors, um, get, can, you can draw a card when they attack with you. Th uh, Warriors is more of a Marju Horde thing, but we've got some Warriors here, I'd imagine. Warrior? Yeah, hey, Human Warrior. Alright, so I'm, I might be playing that, we'll see. Um, Just Kai Elder, good prowess guy. Just Kai Charm, this is my favorite charm. Um, we're probably not playing that because we're playing black, green, white, red. So we're probably not playing blue, but it's not a bad guy. Um, the neat thing is you put a creature on top of its owner's library. You can do that at instant speed. So if they crack a fetch land, you can put their guy on top and they get shuffled away. And also creatures that you control game lifelink. Lifelink is very good and limited. It can change races. Um, so like I said before, lifelink. We've got a banner. We're playing that. 1, 3, for 2. If our opponent's decks are aggressive, we can kind of play this guy and be a little back on the D. A dual land, excellent. We could use some of that. Uh, teamer banner, probably not playing that. We're not playing blue. Destroy target creature for 6 mana. And then if it has a counter on it, you get a snake. It's 6 mana, unconditional, but it's a sorcery. Assassin strike from Return to Ravnica. It's alright. We might be playing that guy. Sky and bad, 4, 4, for 6. And we fate. So. We've opened up all our packs. It was an intro pack and five awesome booster packs. So we're definitely playing this guy, a couple guides. We're playing Butcher the Horse. So we're looking for non-blue cards. We've got a fair amount of fixing. Let's push, get this out of the way. Fair amount of fixing. Look at all this fixing we've got. Fixing, fixing. There's actually not a lot of non-land fixing in the set. You've got a couple green guys. You've got Seek the Horizon, which is kind of bad fixing. You've got the Teamer, Manadork, Rataclaw Mystic. And you've got, you know, a bunch of lands and creatures, abs and guide. Uh, we're not playing blue, so we can get a couple. We're not playing any blue cards, so patrol, banner, incremental growth. Put it on all three of your guys, they get huge. Um, you ha like I said before, you have to have three targets with this card. So maybe you put a plus one, plus one counter on their guy. But, you know, you, if you've got a huge Butcher of the Horde or what have you, it's not really going to matter. At last, we've got a lot of good fixing. A lot of tri lands, banners, dual lands. Other kinds of cards, um, Bloodfuck Cliffs, I'll cast our Butcher, Suspension Field, Removal, Removal. In a, limited, in a limited format, you want removal. You want to stop your opponent's good cards from killing you. Also, you can sometimes just temple your opponent out with some 4-4s. You kill their 1-5-5, five, five, or they block with a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2. Two, two. You kill their 3-3, three, three, and then their guy dies. So removal is at a premium and limited. This has been the way it is for Magic all every time. You, it's still true. Dual End, Throttle... Try land. 2-2 two, two for th uh, 2 that can become a 3-3 three, three death touch. Overall, I'm liking this pool. Um, cancel. We're not playing that one. Get out of here. Ponyback. Uh, we might play Ponyback. We might just actually splash red for that one guy. We'll look and, we'll look and see where our curve is because this is a 6 mana card. I think we've got a lot of 6 mana cards. Ride down. Since we're playing red, we're definitely playing this card. You attack with all your guys into their guy. You kill one, They block a your 1-1 one, one with their 6-6. Six, six, it dies. And everyone is happy, Master Approach. This deck is looking really good. So yeah, once we get our 17 lands and our 23 spells, most of which are creatures, because you want creatures, we'll be looking good. So in this combination of, Ab of Obzon Houses and Mardu Horde, I feel confident that with our Butchers and our Cons, we'll win games of limited Magic the Gathering and advance to the next round. I hope you enjoyed watching these videos. Um, if you'd like to let me know how you performed with the Obzon Houses, if that's your favorite clan, at the pre-release, let me know how you did. If you opened up Butcher of the Hordes and opened up an Onathans of the Foremost, because this is a promo card, 
There are 40 promo cards. We don't know what all you get. So if you get this guy, let me know in the comments down there. Um, I will be doing videos for all five of the clans. You can check those out in the playlist over here. And make sure to like this video and subscribe to this video. And uh, I will check you out next time on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.